Hi everyone, Stephen here. Welcome to Audio Nautica. Just thought I'd show you this Keithley 2015 meter here that I've got. Uh, it also measures THD. So I just thought I'd show you how those functions work and then later on we'll test uh, a few amplifiers and see what results we can get. So it works like a normal bench multimeter. I won't show you all of that stuff, but I just want to show you specifically the THD stuff. So essentially there's two parts to it. There's the source and the measurement aspect. So the source, there's a sine wave generator that's built into this thing. Um, you could use an external sine wave generator, but obviously you need a signal that's very pure. So this has one built in to give you a pure signal for the reading. So the source button allows you to um, configure that. So sign out, whether the signal generator is on or off. Then you set your frequency. Uh, so it'll go up to 20 kilohertz, which is also the measurement frequency. So I've got it set to 500 hertz uh, as my measurement frequency. The, uh, this is to set the impedance of the device, so I've got it set for high impedance. We also set it to 50 ohms or 600 ohms, um, just depending on the kind of application, so high impedance. Uh, amplitude, um, so that's obviously the amplitude of your sine wave. Um, important that you have it set low before you plug it into something in case you um, overload something or even worse, blow something up. And then that's for the, the second channel whether it's inverse sine or pulse, which I'm not using. Um, so those are all the settings for the sine wave generator. And then this button here is the configuration for the actual THD measurement. So this device actually does three types of measurements. It does THD, it does sine add, or it does THD plus noise. So I'm just doing THD. Um, this is auto frequency is, is the easiest way to do it. It does make the uh, measurement a little bit longer, um, but you can also um, acquire it before you take the reading or you can set it, but I just leave that on auto. Now upper harmonics, so this tells it which harmonic to read up to in terms of making the THD calculations. The default is two. Um, so it's only taking the second harmonic so for a 500 hertz signal, it's only reading up to one kilohertz. Um, if you want to take into account the entire audio spectrum, then you would actually need to go all the way up to 20 kilohertz. So you need to change the harmonics, um, which is easily done just by setting it like this, for example. So setting it to 40, the 500 hertz signal, that will take me up to 20 kilohertz. Uh, units, I've got it set to percentage. Um, shaping filter, this is for applications where like if you wanted to simulate something like a phone line or something like that, I don't want to do that. And uh, those are all the settings for the actual THD measurement. Okay, so I've got this Leak Stereo 70 that I rebuilt a little while ago and we're going to take the readings on this now. So uh, I've got it all hooked up, I've got a dummy load on the output and here's the THD meter and on the scope um, this I'm just finding is the easiest way. So basically I'm setting the level to about uh, 5 volts peak to peak on the output and so here I have my THD measurement. So if we just uh, check, so at the moment we're on the upper harmonic of 40, so we're measuring the full spectrum. And so I'd say that's giving me a reading, I guess we'd call it about 0.042 or so. Now, just for the sake of reference,
Now we're just measuring just the second harmonic. And we'll call that about 0.03%. So there we are, we have some readings uh, for our leak 70. Uh, there's some other readings. I did some readings of the 405, the quad 405 2 that I rebuilt, and also the reference readings out of the actual Keithley itself. Okay, so now I've got this NAD3120 here, and we can see with it, call that about 0 0.011, that's for the second harmonic only. So now if we do the full spectrum, Call that about 0.028. So the 3120, you can separate the preamp from the power amp stage. And indeed, the 3120 was famous uh, for having an excellent preamp stage. A lot of people, they just used the preamp section and um, put, a, put a, a beefier power amp um, outside of their 3120. So this is testing just the preamp stage. So this is back to testing the second harmonic only. And it's really so hard to, to tell because it jumps around like that. We'll call that 0.011. And if we Go to the full spectrum again. So we call that point O two. Six. And so those results are actually very, very similar. So here's the results for the whole amplifier, 0.011 and 0.028. And this is just the preamp stage. I mean, it's really basically about the same. Uh, and what's also interesting, uh, as expected, it's significantly better than the leak. I mean, remember, uh, if you've seen my early reviews uh, and videos of the leak Stereo 70, uh, it was deliberately designed to sound like a valve amplifier, which of course have um, distortion, and um, its outputs are capacitively coupled. So one is going to expect uh, more distortion and indeed uh, 0.042 in the full spectrum for the Leak Stereo 70, 0.028 for the, the NAD 3120, and the other amplifier that I've tested is the, the Quad 405-2. We've got about 0.031% for the 405-2. What's interesting is that the, the 3120 is um, quite a bit more pure in its CHD than the um, 405-2. Now these certainly are, are not bad figures, um, but it, it's, it's interesting to note nonetheless. So what I'll be doing from now on, um, as I work on and, and review other amplifiers and, and pre-amplifiers, I'll be adding them to this table. So please keep an eye out for my future videos, if, if that's something that interests you. Thank you so much for watching this video with me as we've explored what this uh, Keithley 2015 THD bench multimeter can do and doing some tests on some amplifiers. 
please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Bye for now.